Stroll around this neighborhood near the border of Emeryville and Oakland, and you may notice something odd. Many of the houses feature these strange flagpole-like creations. This is the man they call the father of the flagpole, Slobodan Dan Pyatch, and this was your idea? Yes, I was asked to create a piece of sculpture for somebody. And then it seemed absurd to have a lost and forgotten piece of art. So I thought of this more whimsical, more involving, more community-spirited project. And so that's how the flagpoles got started. So now they've taken over the neighborhood? Well, not taken over, but they are very much part of the neighborhood. And they are slowly being adopted by people who like them. What does something like this do for a neighborhood? It brings a flair, it brings an identity, and it brings a communication. It's like a continuous street party. Slowly, there is a, some sense of village, of identity. The poles are made from cast-off recycled materials, rolling pins, chair legs, lace doilies, as neighbors became intrigued by the totems, Slobodan started a free workshop, and the city of Oakland recognized the project with a community promotion grant. His idea has even won a national Regenerating America contest as a social invention. People ask, what is this? They talk, the neighbors talk, and then they come, and then they have one. And sometimes people say, free? Or could I have two? And they get two, yes. I, I notice they're all white. Is there a reason? It was because it's really a um, public art project to give it some kind of aesthetic cohesion so we can recognize them. They have an identity. And yet they are not precious museum sculpture. They are in the street. They are between the um, art and the folk art. It's like a new popular art. Besides helping beautify a small piece of Oakland, Slobodin's work can also be seen in San Francisco. His sculpture, Windflowers, is part of Festival 2000 at 155 Grove Street in the city. On the back roads, I'm Jerry Graham.